I'm Kimmy. I'm here to share with you a little bit about me and my journey, my spiritual journey, and how St. Mike's has played a role in my transformation and how it's continuing to transform me. I don't feel like there was one moment where I felt transformed. I feel like it's been a process. It will continue to be a process, and here's just what it kind of looked like. I've been Catholic my whole life, so when my husband and I joined St. Michael Parish in 2010, it was normal and comfortable to find a ministry I wanted to be involved in and because I've always been a Eucharistic minister at parishes before it was a simple choice to join that ministry. At one particular mass a few years ago I was serving holding the precious blood and a man came up to me to receive the Eucharist for the first time after his confirmation and when I looked up to hand him the chalice I noticed that his eyes were filled with tears. I was uncomfortable for a second because that's not something necessarily that you see every time that you're serving. It caught me off guard. I noticed joy in his face, the anticipation, the longing that he had had to receive the Eucharist. And it was in that exact moment that I realized that I had not approached the Eucharist with the same joy and anticipation as he did and I wanted to know why and I wanted to change that. I wanted to realize what an absolute gift it is and I wanted to become more aware and more grateful. I noticed then after reflecting on that moment that I had also paid attention to those in mass around me and had come to the realization that there was something different, that I had noticed people bowing their heads. They were so much more prayerful than I ever felt. Um, I, I noticed a sense of relationship with Jesus in the Mass, and I longed for that too. So this transformation began um, really with a desire to enhance my Mass experience and to recognize that it is heaven on earth and that I am surrounded by the body of Christ and that I shouldn't, it shouldn't be standard. It shouldn't feel autopilot. It should feel different. It should feel special. It should feel heavenly. One other profound moment that I had was during a facilitator meeting for small groups um, and my family was going through a challenging time. We were in a time of transition and I was really struggling with the unknown. I didn't know what the future was going to look like and that was really hard for me. And so at this facilitator meeting and, and in these other ministry meetings I opened up about that and I was receiving prayers, people were offering to bring our family meals, there were emails of encouragement, uh, people would simply give me a hug. And the beauty from that is, is that these were all people here at St. Michael Parish. These um, were all people who I had come to know and had connected with on a deeper level um, and someone who understood where I was coming from. So at this facilitator meeting I had two people approach me and ask if they could pray over me which I had never been asked before. And in that moment, I truly felt the Holy Spirit. I felt like that happened in that exact moment for a reason. Had I not opened up about things, had I not become vulnerable, had I not decided that my heart needed to be tender, I would not have experienced that love and I would not have experienced that love which is Christ. I have truly gotten to know Jesus further through the people here at this parish. So while praying over someone might not be your strong suit, um, really all it takes to show the love of Christ and to look at other people through His lens of love is to look someone in the eye. And that's how my transformation started, was really just eye contact. So I encourage you to look at the people next to you in Mass. Look at the people who are serving with you in ministry and know that you all have one thing in common, that we're all here, we're all longing for Jesus, and we've all met at the altar before. Just know that and know that it's okay to open up, it's okay to say hello, to offer a handshake, and to allow those around you to lead you into a deeper relationship with Jesus. People here are real. Like there are people here that aren't real, but there are a lot of people who are, who are like genuinely, authentically Catholic who live it at church, but also in their homes. That's a big one for me. So that's, I don't know, that's how I, it's like, well, if they can do it, I can do it. <laughs>